This has to be one of the best Starship recreations I have seen in Space Engineers. Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and today we're talking about the AI Hammerhead Gunship by Allied Armor 32107, I think that's our Steam username, it'll be on screen now. This is also a recreation of a Hammerhead Gunship or Corvette shall I say from Star Citizen and when it comes to recreating ships in Space Engineers sometimes it's really hard to get them right especially with complex angles and slopes that vanilla blocks don't typically allow. This ship looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna waste no time checking this ship out. As you can see from the panning shots right now, we've got some amazing details on this. It's basically a heavy gunship built on a take on a sort of small capital class ship as well. Obviously, it is based off the Aegis Hammerhead. It's not meant to be a replica, but it is kind of very close to being a replica in terms of SE standards. Obviously, some things are going to have to be changed so it actually works in Space Engineers, like scale, for example. It is not going to be able to work to the same scale that it is in Star Citizen. But I'm gonna be honest, the Hammerhead is one of my most favorite starships in Star Citizen. I actually own one. Yes, I did spend a stupid amount of money, but it's okay. As a video creator, I can justify it. Somewhat. Oh well. Anyway, Allied Armour has done a fantastic job in recreating this here or making a gunship which is very, very close to the Aegis Hammerhead. Let's dive in a bit closer and take a look with an outside tour and then an interior one as we do per usual. Back into my manual camera control here, you can see the ship profile is very minimal. It is only just around about three blocks in height on the main hull, and also we've got the slopes up here as well. The sloped armor, now you can see sort of the shadow textures racing along here. This might be a glitch due to one of these or render engine I'm using here. I've got a mod which basically makes SE look a little bit better, but it will cause some glitches sometimes with armor panning like this. So just keep that in mind, it's not a fault with the ship, it probably is the render thing I'm using. It's not used to working with blocks like this. We are using armor paneling up here to sort of detail this. How is this connected? Is this... Ah, okay, so we're going to be using a lot of these on this grid here. So rotors connected to these, basically going up here, allowing us to have sort of paneled armor on here, which looks really, really cool. I honestly find this super interesting, as, as a level of detail you wouldn't really get in normal space engineers, which I think is fantastic. Now, the blend of light armor with sort of main blocks over here, or sorry, the blend of small ship armor with large grid armor is seen over here when we start getting with slopes. So to create that sort of like sloped angle effect the hammerhead has on its hull, you're going to have to use more rotors and things like this. This might be a rotor or hinge, It'll be hidden somewhere here. Where about? I'm trying to find the connect. Oh, here it is. It's in darkness. Is it a hinge? It is a hinge, as I thought. So it's sort of connected here. So if you hit a missile right there, you are going to take it out there. Are these like... Oh, these are like convey end caps, aren't they? I love the idea of this, because I think the Hammerhead actually has missiles on board or something like that, if I remember correctly. Now, in terms of weapon armament, we are using six artillery turrets. So one there, four on the caps of the wings, and maybe one underneath. Oops, there you go. Camera control. Where is it? The other one should be down here somewhere. Is it not? Is it the back? Oh, it's the back, isn't it? There we go. We also actually have the um, loading bit at the back here as well. Damn, we've got to check all of this out in a second. There is so much stuff on the ship. And we've got landing gears as well. We're going to have to try landing this maybe a bit later in this video. Hopefully, I won't crash it too much. So, in terms of other details here, I'll turn my light off here. We've sort of got the midsection. It's like a cut through area on the hammerhead, but it just sort of has that gap here. I always like to think it's like a cradle system that something you could deploy in here to pick up the ship. Not sure why. Jump drive is positioned here for your traditional sort of SE stuff, so it can be played around in the game. I want to take a quick look at the engines. If we fly back this way, we do have the engine layout here. So we've got two main engines and then a sort of split side for us going on here. These engines are even angled using hinge blocks as well. That looks so, so cool. I actually love that. It's very, very nice. What else have we got? So more armor sloping going here. Very cool. Loading bays. What are these things hidden down here? Are these more hinges? Oh, so these hinges are armored up as well. That is really cool. So it's quite sort of like cap going around the side engines here. That is very, very nice. Honestly, Allied Armour has done an insane amount of detail. We've got the bridge over here as well. That's looking really cool. And we've got the front airlock up here as well. Now, we've also got more hinges at the front here, creating a sort of sloped armour panelling going down here, sort of protecting the artillery turrets. Now, on the hammerhead, you could actually sit in the turrets on the end of the ship and control them, sort of like a ball cockpit. I don't know how to actually describe it, but you can sit in it and control it and spin around with fire. It's really cool if you're playing some multiplayer, in it. I will try and link a video down below of us controlling the hammerhead in Star Citizen so you can get an idea of how the ship actually works. It's really cool to play with a bunch of friends. Let's check out the interior of the ship. Okay, I've come in via the main airlock here, so we're going to seal that one again there. Obviously, just typical airlock stuff, suits and things like that. We're going to have a lot of vanilla SE stuff going on here. I do love it when people use pipes, though. This block is kind of like an underused one when it comes to designing the interiors of Space Engineers. So it looks pretty cool, though, so I'm glad that is there. 
Right, back through again, we've got our main sections. Now, over here, this is sort of the edge of the wings. This is where in Star Citizen, you would be able to command what sort of turrets where you'd be able to hop in and control it while everyone else goes down to the bridge and engineering sections. Naturally here, we can't do that because there's a limit on what you can do in SE. Now, down here will be to the bridge. We'll come back to that in a minute. I want to show you the rest of the ship first. We're just going to leave all the airlocks open. Here we've got a window outside. I don't think it's actually... Okay, my light wasn't working. We can sort of see the grip or like the you know missing section in the middle of the ship kind of cool now obviously the scale here is something we need to consider in space engineers there's a lot more going on whereas here there isn't there's no button panel i thought it was just going to be the lift or something but there isn't anything wound up so this is just the port way out here usually in star season there'll be elevators here allowing you to descend and go up sadly there isn't again it is a scale sort of thing we don't have the room on the ship for everything if it was built maybe to scale then maybe we could have it i think i've seen it before where people have built this entire ship out of basically like small blocks um, and then you can have all these interesting features but again that's just something to keep in mind Cool, next out here, we've got like a lot of playability going on here, like industrial sort of machines are added in. We've also got rooms over here, cryo tubes, science areas, medical bays, all the fancy stuff going on. Did I just seal that? Oops. It is like really interesting what's going on, how like Aldarm has designed this. So back here, we're going to what is the engineering section, and we've got this sort of loading bay back here. Now in Star Citizen, you had like a much bigger engineering section because the loading bay was sort of connected to where the main drive was here we've got a similar thing going on it again it's not a complete replica it is based on the Aegis hammerhead so that is going to allow for some differences but we do have a loading bay still which is cool obviously in star citizen you could like have an actual loading ramp so to pick things up but here we've basically got the basics right let's go take a look at the bridge and i'll meet you back on that so going down these ladders whoop, there we go we've got the main bridge a rather compact main bridge it is exposed but the amount of firepower the ship has and also it would have shields in the game you wouldn't actually need to worry about how exposed it actually is so we can hop in here i presume it's left egg is not owned take ownership okay let's i'll take ownership quickly as uh, I, I basically spawned in and didn't take ownership there we go. I, I have owned it though. What do you tell it? Okay, whatever. So we've got a front cam up here as well, which is pretty cool. I Meaning we can control stuff. We've got turrets, so we can turn those on and blast anything down. Unfortunately, there's nothing for me to shoot at, which is a bit annoying. I would like to have tested the, uh, test this. Well, obviously, we can control the main gates at the back. If I press 5, you can see we can open the loading bay there. Very nice. So let's see how the ship actually handles. So it is obviously a combination of big ship or big blocks and small blocks in the most simplest terms. There is a disclaimer, the ship will spin slowly sometimes. Now this is due to basically the combination of rotors, hinges, small armor blocks and big armor blocks. If you look down at the speed on my screen, you'll see it's basically fluctuating between 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 and then nothing. It's basically due to the grids and rotors. All right, let's accelerate to max speed in three, two, one, boom. See how quickly it picks up. Alright, so it'll take a bit of slow time to get there. Again, this is sort of like a Corvette gunship. But in terms of maneuverability, it does actually move around rather well. So you could have a degree of flexibility when flying the ship around. Like I can easily do things like that, which is pretty cool. My one thing I would say is that obviously the turrets are meant to be personal or like personnel controlled on a hamhead. They can be automated to a degree, I guess. But it would be nice if we had like more seats for people to sit on and actually command them. That's just one thing I'm thinking of a playability for this ship. Like just some extra cockpits thrown in, in around some tear. Like that could mean other people could control those. So you could have that level of playability if you wanted to. Obviously this is Space Engineers. AI turrets are a thing. So the computer can just control those guns for you. You don't particularly need to worry. Still, this is a very fantastic ship. Let's try landing it. Right, I dropped us into atmosphere here, and it looks like we can't actually support atmosphere. Um, okay. M maybe that doesn't work? Oh, well, it had landing gear. I presumed it could have landed in atmosphere. I guess not then. Maybe it's just designed to land somewhere else. This is like an Earth like planet. Okay, well, that is the Aegis Handhead. Maybe we'll have to try landing it somewhere else. Maybe it's just for show and can't actually land there. Maybe it does actually say on the Steam Workshop page it's not flyable in atmosphere. So that's my own mistake for not reading it. Whoops. Maybe it was just wishful thinking. I saw landing is thought, well, maybe it could work. But I guess you can land it on, say, like a space station, which, you know, you can do in Star Citizen. You can land it on big sort of bays or dock in them as well. That's something to keep in mind. So build a big star base, then you can land the Hammerhead gunship. A big thing in Allied Armor for designing this in Space Engineers. I think this is definitely going to be one ship I will play with quite often, as I love the design of it. It's nice and compact, doesn't tank on sort of performance, and looks amazing. If you want to download the ship, head over to the Steam Workshop via the link in the video description below. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.